all right guys so if you're new here um last fall we decided to build this pole barn it was the last project of the year uh, outside anyway and we didn't have time to mill the siding or find any kind of siding for it so we threw tarps on it real quick we bought a hundred dollars worth of tarps we surrounded the whole thing and then we put these two big tarps uh, on the front but a lot of people had their doubts that this would hold up well i want to show you what i learned by doing this and uh maybe it'll help somebody so check it out here these tarps are big heavy duty like boat tarps like white marine gray i don't, I don't know they were heavier heavier duty the only place that tarps are getting wore down is like right here this is all on the ground and the wind would sway it back and forth and drag it so that got wore down these tarps are cheap firewood tarps really thin and what i did is use boards to mount everything where it would be touching simple the only place that it wore down again if I would have put a board here and not let it move, this wouldn't have happened. So this tarp's just gonna get cut in half and it'll be two smaller tarps. But everywhere it rubbed on something, obviously right there, there was a chair or something touching the side, but everywhere where it was solid, like here and here, And we mounted it here and everything's fine this got wore down because it was flapping in the wind all winter but no holes again right here where it's wrapped up against this so we're just gonna cut the tarp you know and it'll be two small tarps for firewood or whatever but again this one started wearing down so i put a board on it so it wouldn't rip in half so there is some wear behind it And then this one's perfectly fine because it's pushed against here. So, uh, so as long as it doesn't rub. So if you can put a board to hold it against the post or something similar, uh, that works good. And that was, that's was that been like that since, I don't know, November. Because we had early snow last year and we had to do something with it. Like... Normally we could mill boards and, and keep doing stuff uh, through November, but we had an early snow and a long winter. put like this and then we can set the two by four on it that way we don't have to measure it then we can go up here and do it and go up here and do it makes sense they're called spacers okay. like spacers
What's a good boy do? Sit your butt. Sit. Sit, a pretty boy. All right, guys. You saw us at the beginning of the video putting the strapping on the pole barn, prepping for siding. Uh, some of you guys, including myself, we had originally intended to side the barn with uh, live edge siding, but that would involve almost an entire summer of milling and cutting down a bunch of my trees. Mm -hmm. And the pole barn is back in the corner in the shade a little bit more than the cabin. So we're using the metal we got last fall. Yep. Super duper, super <laughs> duper cheap. Yeah. We paid 350 bucks for enough metal that I think we can do the whole barn. In. And skirting the house. Yeah. So we're going to be able to do two awesome projects for 350 bucks. Yep. So, Total. <laughs> yeah. so, and it's low maintenance is where I was going. So. Low maintenance is good. The cabin's going to be enough work for us. I don't need to have high maintenance barn too. So let's get some of this metal on the trailer, get it up to the pole barn and see how we're going to make it work. when I picked it up. Give me third degree burns. see our newest trespasser trespassers bro breaking an entry look at them they're like sitting right there staring at you I do, baby girl specs. they do look like girl specs don't they Right there. It's one of them tick things. Tick masses? Maybe. Are you sure? It's not a growth speck. It's, it's like a. It looks like a. Tick. They both. They're both right there. They got like orangish heads. Not orangish, but like a. I don't know. All right, we'll leave them alone. I think they look like they're about ready to, to take off. They got they baby rabbits too. Yeah, they got all kinds of baby birds going on. That's why we don't like to cut trees down in the spring too. Because they make nests everywhere and you take out a bunch of nests. So, All right, let's try this out. My original plan was to go like this on the bottom. Okay. And then oh, you have to overlap it you know, a little bit and put like a lighter one on top up to there so we can use the most amount of metal but these these are six footers these are the shortest ones we have I mean I could cut them but I don't want to cut them in a way where both pieces aren't useful you know these are obviously a little bit longer than six foot because they're, I mean, the only thing that would be nice about these, and there's a lot of these, the eight footers are too long because eight foot like literally takes you up into this crack. Okay. 
It's like an inch too long, which we could dig it down on the ground, I guess. 